Hi guys, before we get into today's video, I wanted to have a little chat, if you will. I was trying to say this on camera when we were on our way to get the surgery, but like, I was just in, I, I don't know, I was like anxious and I feel like it just didn't come across correct. Obviously, I'm getting plastic surgery. I'm saying plastic surgery because it sounds so much more drastic than it really was. I got my, I got air sculpt on my chin. My chin is something that had bothered me more in like recent years, I think just because I'm on camera for my job literally 24 seven and I just get clips back and I just don't feel my best about it. It didn't matter like how much I was working out or what I was eating or whatever. That was just like the one thing that wouldn't like budge just basically. It wasn't like I was sitting there tearing myself apart or I hated it so much or anything like that. It was just like, I would like that to be a little bit more snatched if possible. And I think it's very important to be transparent versus like lying to you guys and saying like, oh, if there's a change in my jawline that like, honestly, you guys might not even notice, but like I will notice. I mean, it's gonna be apparent. Like you'll be able to tell obviously with this, like they did a great job, but it is like a very minor thing. Basically, I'm not just gonna lie and say I did it with like diet and exercise. I'm gonna take you guys through what I did. I literally am vlogging during the surgery. So many people get stuff done and they just like never address it or talk about it and act like it was just like a lifestyle thing, which just like you know whatever to each their own but for me i really care about being like honest and transparent also if you guys seem like plastic surgery get ready for plastic surgery like just stupid things like that it's because i'm just like being funny and making light of the situation um i'm not like glamorizing it it's important for me to share this stuff because i think it's important to be transparent but on the other end i don't want to share it and then make everyone think that they need to get something done or you have to get plastic surgery you have to go do this or you have whatever it is however i do know there's people who are interested in this when i was interested in air sculpt i was looking up different videos and different people online and whatever it was really helpful so by me doing this in no way shape or form am i trying to like tell everyone else they have to do it or or you have to change your body or change yourself or whatever like that's not my intention at all my intention is to just be honest and transparent this is something that i just wanted to do and it's my body and my choice and again it's like so minor like it really is so minor so anyways i hope you guys enjoy today's video also i'm getting ahead of the comments by getting something done to my face doesn't mean that i like hate myself and can't practice self-love or anything like that like literally at all um or even hate the way i look or anything like you can it's both and you can like love the way you look and love the way you feel and love yourself but also be like that would be cool you know what i mean anyways that's just my perspective and like my thoughts behind this but i hope you guys enjoy the video let's get started what do you hi guys happy plastic surgery day to me i'm getting my chin done it's not really like a huge deal but i'm excited i'm going to elite body sculpture i'm doing air sculpt on my chin so it's very minimally invasive i don't even go under my recovery time is two days is this where we're going South Park. Uh, my recovery time is only two days, so I'm excited. My mom is taking me, and yeah, I'm taking you through the entire process. I'm also vlogging it on TikTok. Okay, let's see this. Crescent Club, Hotel okay. Spa and Shops. It's in the shop center. I can't have coffee this morning, and like, if he wouldn't have told me I couldn't have coffee, it wouldn't be bothering me, but it's the fact that I know I can't have coffee that like, all I want is coffee, you know? Yeah, wait till you can't work out for two weeks. We'll see how that's gonna go. So I timed it that way because I'm going to Europe and it's a holiday. So at least I would have been oh. off my routine anyway. I have my Starbucks. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Getting ready. We just filmed some stuff. I'm very excited. The office is also really cute. It's in Crescent Court and we realize that. All right, guys. We're in the room. This is the pre-op. Are you, are you nervous yet? No, not yet. All right, I had to do a urine sample. They check my vitals, or not vitals. Yeah, vitals. That's how they do that? Mm-hmm. Or you know. your pulse on your finger. I don't know why I thought that it was like, vitals are like getting your blood drawn. Mm. Um, I can wear that shirt if I want to. I don't think I will because I'm just getting my, I have socks, just because I'm getting my chin done, like if I was getting something else you would need to change, but I don't feel like I will. I'm going to pull my hair up, obviously. Uh, yeah, but she said there'll be drainage back here, so I pull it. I know. Ponytail. Do a high ponytail. I, I can't like, blow yeah, well Maddie did my hair yesterday. I can't um, like shower or wash my face for 48 you hours. Have yeah, I have one. I brought one. <laughs> okay, everyone all set? Yes. First, I'm gonna mark your jawline. Right here. Right there. So, small incision right in here. One small one right here, and one small one right here. We're gonna go in first and we're gonna take out whatever fat you have right in there. And then we're gonna also do the air sculpt plus, which is gonna help tighten the skin 
and they're going to help define the, um, your jawline out here a little better as well. <clears throat> Afterwards, you're going to wear that compression, you know, kind of first 48 hours around the clock. And then, um, then you can just wear it kind of half the day, like at night afterwards. Um, and then I understand you're flying. I'm a fairy, yes. Okay, so plenty of time. So you'll well, be good with that. Perfect. Um, questions about the procedure? I'm down. Okay, all right. Um, great, so we'll give you some medication. You're not allergic to anything? Okay. Um, and then, uh, have a good time. Can I have you for 10 takes on this? So this is what they're doing, as you guys saw. Woo! Guys, after this whole morning, my mom goes, what is it, snatched? What does that mean? <laughs> snatched means like you look like snatched. Like you're, it's gonna be snatched. Like sucked in, snatched. Taut, that's what I'm thinking. I've, I've never heard that before. Snatched is like, I snatched you away. <laughs> I don't get it. All right, my hair is back. I'm ready to go. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay. And then this one's gonna go underneath your tongue to dissolve. It's so funny. And then just keep it in your tongue. Mm -hmm. Once it's dissolved, you can take some water, okay? Cool. To wash Thank you. Yeah, no, I mean, compared to what I came in here before and you were like swollen up, like now I'm like. You look like almost back to normal. Oh, no, really? Yeah. yeah. You're swollen still, but then you will be for a little bit. It looks like I'm in like some weird like sun mirror. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like. Back. No, you can sit up wherever you want. These buttons are kind of oh. crazy. Perfect. Thank you. It's gonna be that, but it's not. It doesn't mean anything. It just. I was like, wait a second. All right, guys, I'm out. I talked through the entire surgery. My mom was back with me. It was not bad, literally at all. Like the initial when they like, the the initial like pinch or whatever when it comes to numbing that first and then it, you have like maybe five seconds of that it you was like so like easy yeah. awesome. <laughs> Thank you. she literally got a consultation <laughs> while i was in there so the initial like pinch was the worst part and that was nothing i got shots and, and that's just the, the shot on my stomach was probably the worst thing and that was and then i got numbing a like a pain stomach a pain shot and like I, we literally talked through it. He's from Chicago, he lives in, or he's from here, he lives in Chicago. <laughs> he's like, we talked the entire thing. It was not bad at all. And then they go in, and it's like a vibration thing. I was like fully awake, fully alert. It didn't freak me out. Like it was totally fine. That's awesome. It was really, really good. So now I'm back here in like the post op room, doing just more check ins, and we're almost like fully done. But I have this on for the next 48 hours, and I took Xanax. So yeah, it's not bad at all. Like, I feel really good. Like, it's literally, it was the easiest thing ever. Okay. You can go to the escalator or the elevator? Escalator. escalator. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can go down the elevator and it goes to the same location. You okay. can take it, you can do a snatch little photo like what, what's her name? Yeah, it's not Those people are too, or they? That's my point. Plastic surgery check. Um, I feel great. I feel like a little, like, slow. Cause I took, like, a bunch of meds, but I feel good. It was so easy and they were so nice there. I went to Dr. Nathan uh, and I had Megan as well. They were just like so nice. Gotta put my lip gloss on. Cannot wait for the amount of lip glosses I have. Maybe we can start wild with Yellowstone. Maybe I am a little oh. drugged up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, I just missed my lip. They kept looking at me just like, are you sure you're okay? I was like, it's fine. Yeah. 
No, she kept looking at me and she's like, are you good? And I was like, no, I'm fine. I like dropped my phone. I was like, I'm fine. I really was. That really was just like me being clumsy. Oh, that was the best. You're like, maybe I'm a little drugged up. And then you miss your lip. <laughs> but it was an incredibly enjoyable experience. Like, why do I look so fabulous right now? I think I look so chic. Anyways, I talked through the entire surgery. Dr. Nathan was so nice. Everyone there was so nice. It's very, it's like beautiful inside. Like I love the hallways and the mirrors and stuff. That's not what you guys are, you care about. But anyways, um, really good. My results, I'll be showing, like obviously you won't see them in this vlog, but I'll be updating you guys. I do feel like I have a little bit of a headache and I feel, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little drugged up. Um, but I'm gonna be eating like anti-inflammatory foods just so that my swelling goes down more because I have swelling right here as you guys saw. It was worse, which I didn't see it when it was worse, but they said it went down a lot compared to what it was. So I'm in this for the next 24 hours and then, or 48 hours, and then I wear it when I sleep. But there we go. I'm like really drugged up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, guys, I like walk, I feel like Coco right now. Like, holy shit. Flower child, my brother is here. That's how you know. Game con- con Game- what? Console? I don't know. I'm really tired. I just fell asleep. But, okay, well this is flower child. Looks so good. So it is now 5.30. I eat, but taking some naps. I'm just really tired. Like, my body feels fine. I'm just exhausted. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. I look like a chipmunk. I'll show you guys in better lighting. Serving major chipmunk. I feel fine. I slept totally fine. This thing isn't that annoying. It's just kind of like whatever. Um, I did a little skincare. I can't like wash my hair or shower for 48 hours. So you gotta wait till tomorrow for that. I'm wearing a Martha Stewart sweatshirt. How cute. Somehow I am making everyone coffee and breakfast. I'm so glad that you guys are recovering so well. Seriously, you guys must be in so much pain. They're ignoring me. So, oh, I did get a new Nespresso machine finally. For those who have stayed with me on the journey. <laughs> We are about to change my gauze out. We just sent my little brother to Starbucks and he is buying us Starbucks. It's the first time in his 19 years on this earth he has ever paid for anything, actually, I think. He, he's really good at saving money because he works and then he spends our money. So this is huge, I'm very excited. This coffee is gonna taste better than any other coffee ever has, but we're now, we have the gauze. I'm confused, These, they talked about magic. Okay, my, those are my rules. Here's my rules, I need to read them. I honestly slept, like, nonstop. Okay guys, Cody brought Starbucks. I was telling the vlog, Cody, this is gonna be the best tasting coffee I've ever had because you paid for it. Mm-hmm. Wait, can you Three. give it to me? I'm telling you, best tasting Starbucks I've ever had. Because my mom just left, and it's kind of snowing outside. Here we are. I got some info. I'm going to read off to you guys about how AirSculpt is different from LiPo. Um, I'm reading this just so I don't give you the wrong information. And, like, obviously, I didn't study this. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Even though I know that I wanted AirSculpt, not LiPo. It is so cozy in here right now. Fitz is, you know, the most comfortable, of course. It's actually snowing out a little bit, like I said earlier. But look at him. Now look at me. So everyone knows. Here we are. I'm gonna wear this um, like as much as I possibly can. I don't even think I have plans for our night. Tomorrow is December 23rd. This has been the least like oh Christmassy Christmas I've ever had. I'm gonna like wear this as like much as I possibly can over the next two weeks. I leave for Europe on the 30th, so like I'll wear it at night then. Obviously, I'll wear this to the airport. Lauren's gonna be like, "You've got to be kidding me!" And I'm gonna be wearing this. Bye. Good morning, guys. I look like a little bit less of a chipmunk, I think. Um, Fitz is looking at me really concerned. He was just staring at me. What do you think? 
Mm -hmm. You're worried. Yeah. He is not into it right now. So, anyways, good morning, guys. Um, Koga, is she eating her breakfast? Taking my meds. I was supposed to be taking them with food, but I, like, I got all this food thinking I was going to want to cook, and I've just been so tired this week, and, like, Honestly, it's really not for the surgery. I'm just like, I think I'm in holiday mode and just not wanting to do anything. So I'll probably order my Chop Shop breakfast again. I've been trying to eat like healthier. I'm gonna ice roll my face and read. I can take my band off in like four hours and shower for the first time since surgery, which is just 48 hours ago. Very, very, very excited. I also am excited to like see. I mean, obviously there's not gonna be like results today. But, like, I'm just curious what this actually looks like underneath. But I think my face swelling has gone down a lot compared to yesterday. All right, guys. Wow. I've never looked better. I'm going to film a TikTok at the same time. It looks so much better in this TikTok camera. And they said that people will get dizzy. So I should lay down for, like, five minutes after doing this. So, taking it off. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It's freaky. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Cause my hair. Like this is my neck right now. Oh, feels weird. I just showered and I'm brushing my hair out for the first time. I am waiting for my compression gear to dry and then I'm just going to put that on. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve and I'm just with my family. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Honestly, I'm going to wear my garment wrap like through the holidays um, because I'm going to get up on the 30th and I would rather just like be wearing it as much as possible technically because it's on my chin. They're like you only have to wear it 12 hours a day um, for the next two weeks but like the more I wear it, the better it is. So I'm going to pull my hair back. I'm feeling like sore if anything, but like not really like this is pretty easy Um, I can't wear makeup which is fine because I wouldn't be wearing makeup anyways Just because of the incisions under here until they close, but they're actually already like scabbing So there we go. I'm just gonna like read and chill and whatever for the rest of the day Again, if it wasn't the holidays, I would be up and about doing more stuff It's also 10 degrees outside. So we just had like a really chill couple days here get up my garment wrap wrap back on I'll be giving you guys updates in vlogs to come and then probably around like my three month like post-op appointment I'll do another vlog I think and answer like all the questions you guys have I did answer a few on TikTok like what is the difference between lipo and air sculpting and things like that There's a link that I'll have below too if you guys are interested Um, You guys can get like a free consultation and stuff again There's no like this me getting this is not me telling Anyone they need to do this or they need to look a certain way or be a certain way or anything like that at all But just for people who are interested or are maybe coming from the vlog and are new to my channel And just like we're interested in air sculpt and things like that um, I do have a landing page where you guys can get all the like info and stuff So if you guys have questions feel free to leave them in the comments, but also the questions are probably answered on the landing page I'm feeling really puffy here But I can tell like I can tell that it's worked or that it is working but it just feels so like weird. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Stay tuned for more updates and stuff because I'll be sharing it throughout the vlog. It's pouring rain and he sees me and he's like, hey, we walk into this building